Now, you actually sound exactly, I mean, you look exactly like uh, Nat King Cole back then, you know? Your mannerism, your movements up on stage resembles very close to... Uh, well, I tell you, uh, frankly, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, I don't mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. I was born in the state. Yeah, maybe you were twins or something. No, 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 I was born in the state, educated in Singapore. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that should have been quite good, actually. Yeah, may maybe one of the last drop, they call it. <laughs> oh, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, you had a great time, you had yeah. a great career then, and you're still doing wonderful things for yourself oh, at course, the moment. You've got your own band now, you, oh, you're yes, performing, yes, yes. but you don't perform in class My own anymore. band is called Silver Linings. Silver Linings? Oh, you know why? Amazing. Yeah. Because of my hair. Oh. <laughs> so did they actually pick their name from the hair? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Now, a little bit about this. Now, you, you actually done a lot of variety shows. Yes. We actually got a footage that we want you to see. It's way back in 1963. I don't do any shy. Don't do Don't do Don't Don't do Well, we are going to make you shy, oh, Mr. Oh. Rahim. We are all going to sit back and we are all going to watch this one. Let's feed our all eyes. Right. I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris and its fall. I love Paris in the winter when it drizzles. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. I love Paris every moment, every moment of the year. Are you sure they use spring? Yeah, I think so. I love Paris. All I can say, Rahim, yes. is that the resemblance is very great. I mean, look at that picture behind. Don't he look like Nat King Cole? Yes. I mean, the resemblance is so close. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite easy. If it's actually. really close, we bring it together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, how did you... How did you actually get started in music, in your singing career? I started like 1953 then. Yeah. How did you So all after start? that, I had my own band. Yeah. And those days, huh, mm. my band is called... Uh, how you explain this, I don't know. But Malati Puti is what? Uh, white Orchid. Uh, white Orchid. Yeah, right, right, right. But the White Orchid, mm -hmm. huh, those days, huh, I don't play in the club, no. Then what were you playing? What? Wedding, like, under the tent. Huh? Oh! Yes. Yeah. So we play under the ten, you know. Right. And then we go to one of these entertainment world, you know. Singapore got great world, got new world, got happy world. But my place was in new world, lah. And then they used to request that people, la. One song, 25 cents. 25 cents? Yes. Two songs, 50 cents. That must have been quite big, actually. Yes. Yeah. But if they give three songs, one free. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> So if you, three song, if, one, if you actually ask for three songs, you go, you go one, one free, three song. Yeah, hey. yeah. yeah. I think it's nowadays they follow my style. Right? In, in shopping centers, right? you buy three, you get one free. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is the, this is the truth. Absolutely correct. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you took part in Talentine 1954. Yes. And you won the Talentine. Yes. And then oh, you yes. took part. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. 54 after 53, then all Malayan Talentine. Mm -hmm. 54. And then after that, I got a first time. I mean, so first, I, prize. I, I first prize. And then 55. I still got first prize. What happened in 56? I still got first prize, but I was disappointed. Why? They said they disqualified me. They disqualified Yes, you? because I was working in a nightclub. Just like that? Yes. Hey, they told me, give somebody, yeah. a, give somebody a chance, huh? Except you, how many years already? Mm. No, nice, right? And didn't you, did, did you actually go up to them and say, look, I've got the talent and I want to take part in the contest? Oh, those days when she said, i got the talent, go my kiala. Quite true. <laughs> All right. Now, um, you actually work in the club. I mean, you, you've worked in so many clubs. Yes. But there's a club that you actually work, which is uh, very, very popular then. Oh, yes. Yes. Would you like to name a few that you actually done? Uh, I was working first time. First one yeah. was at Cockpit. Mm -hmm. And then the old Adelphi. Mm -hmm. And the longest one I was working at the Hotel Singapore. You know where the forum now? Forum Gallery is. That yes. is the place where I used to work before seven years. In fact, that was the place. And then they told hot. me, the management told me, after seven years, you need a CPF, you need pension. Then what do you so do? I told them, I told him straight. I said, those days got no CPF. 
Mm-hmm. You give me pension enough lah. So one month, you know how much I got? Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> so much for pension. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you were actually you've done a, you've done a few work other than performing. Yes. You were an assistant um, assistant broadcaster. Yes. Yeah. When was this? Ah. Uh, those days. Uh, one nine forty-nine. And then those days, uh, Singapore radio was called Radio Malaya. I work, I work there. And then they changed it into Radio Singapore. I still work there. And then they changed it to RTS. They've gone through a lot I of still changes. work there. And after RTS, I roaming the street. You know. <laughs> <laughs> now, you also worked with Cathay Chris. You did a lot of Malay movies yes, yes, during those yes, days. Yes. And um, what were you doing? You were sort of like a, a uh, I'm, voice. I'm, I'm a uh, sound editor, mm. sound mixer, mm. and film editor. On positive, not negative. And you also starred in about seven movies. Seven, yes. What roles do you normally How play? do you know? Hey, I've done my homework. Wa. You've done your homework. Yeah. And, uh, I've done my homework. I thought you went in free. Uh, no, eh? no, I never went in. So. In fact, I passed by Cathay Chris when I was a little boy, but yeah, it yeah. sort of like closed those, those times. Yeah. yeah. But those days uh, when I think I see you are not so big, not handsome like this. Yeah, uh. no, of course now it's uh, slightly more handsomer. Right? Exactly. Yeah, right what do you do? What, what do you do? I mean, what movies, what kind of roles did you play? Oh, I've done all Malay movies. Uh. Yeah. Like Ton Patima, mm-hmm. and then I've done Matbon, and then I've done Danganom, and I've done so many things, and I've done everything. <laughs> and I, <laughs> but seven Playboy th- roles for those, one of them? Huh? Playboy roles. Playboy also. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, um, but you're best remembered as Nat King Cole of Singapore. Yes. And a lot of people sort of uh, look up to you for that. I mean, yes. it, it must be very exciting to sort of try and emulate somebody else, be somebody else. No, 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 no. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm wrong. You're wrong. Well, okay, prove me wrong. You see, if you sing on a tape, mm. you, listen to your, you listen to yourself, you don't sound like Nat King Cole, you know. Actually, you sound like Rani Hamid, like me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the public, yeah. For no reason at all. He sounds like Nat King Cole. Yeah. He, he, he sings like Nat King Cole. So I said, I want to make business also, right? So I said, whatever you want to put my name, you pull up. And you accepted that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you actually met uh, oh, hola, hola. the late Louis Armstrong when Louis Armstrong was in Singapore. Did you meet him? Oh, yes, yes. yes. You did. Uh, they call him Sachmo. Sachmo. Sachmo, right? Yeah, Sachmo. So his voice mm-hmm. is like this, you know. And uh, I was supposed to MC him on the on the first day. Eh? So I told him, Mr. Louis, respect him, he's quite old, you know. That time I'm young, lah. Mm-hmm. So, excuse me, Mr. Louis. Somebody asked me to ask you, how old are you? He turned around and looked at me like this, you know. Not happy. No, 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 not happy. Never mind his voice. What do you mean? Talking, talking about how old somebody is. How old are you, Mister Hamid? Don't tell the people, lah, please. You tell me. Whisper in my ear. Everybody wants to know, ah. Yeah. I'm not shy. Tell me. I got two calendars. Why is that? One is a Malay calendar, yeah. one is English calendar. What's the difference? The Malay calendar, I'm only 46. Mm-hmm. The English calendar, you reverse yourself. La. <laughs> but you are not going to go yet because you are going to sing for us, yeah? You want me to sing? Uh, do you want to hear him sing? Yeah. yeah! You can't just leave us like that. Well, there's no you saw on the TV, can it? No, cannot. You must see me singing now. Yes. At the age of 46. Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Hamed, please. Oh! They try. To tell us we're too young Too young To really be in love They say that love's a word A word is only heard And can begin to know 
the meaning of And yet We're now too young to know Our love Will last Though it may go And then Someday They may recall We were not Too young Say that love's a word, a word is only heard and can begin to know the meaning of. And yet we're not too young to know our love will last though years may go. Someday